guys, how are you all? Today I'm super excited to do my Manga Mondays because I have four really awesome mangas to share with you guys. They really don't fit in any kind of category and I try to make these as thematic as I can but sometimes I just end up reading these really like random manga series but they're all really interesting and really unique. The very first series that I have today is called Renai Bokun and it's like a comedy shonen harem. It does this really cool thing where there is a cupid girl named Gris who has a kiss note. So it's kind of like a death note, even the protagonist makes a death note reference and she's like, this is not a death note, this is a kiss note. What happens is when you write um, two people's names into the notebook, um, they'll kiss and become a couple. So this kind of setup just gives way to so much craziness. Because it's a harem, there are about like three to four girls. In the first few chapters, I believe there's only three girls introduced. One of them is Gris, because even though she's like the Cupid Shinigami kiss note owner, she kind of wants to learn what love is, so she throws herself into the kiss note. She writes up like a three-way triangle and it's her, the main protagonist guy, and another girl who apparently has a crush on the main protagonist even though he never knew she liked him. She's like the most popular beautiful girl in school but she is like a yandere so it's like hilarious to see her really jealous. Don't worry, none of the yandere stuff gets too dark. Kiss note is like really comedic, um, high school, really hilarious. I just had a lot of fun reading it and the art is really cute and fluffy. This kind of has that comedy shonen classic style to it. So definitely check out Red Eye Bokun. It will really put a smile on your face. It's so hilarious. The next series that I have is called Dice the Cube That Changes Everything and this was kind of something I stumbled upon on random on one of the manga websites online. The cool thing about this series is that it's in the genres of psychological, drama, slice of life, high school, um, and just kind of like dips its toes into different genres. So when the story begins, the protagonist um, in the prologue, he doesn't really have a name and he's kind of in the afterlife. And so what happens in the afterlife is that different people roll the dice and depending on what number you get, the higher the number you get, the better your chances are of like getting intellect, good luck, good family, good looks, and just all that kind of stuff. So you're basically rolling a dice to determine how your next life is gonna pan out. So when the protagonist rolls the dice, he gets a one, and it's pretty sad because you only got one roll, and they kick you out of like heaven or the afterlife immediately after you finish the roll. So um, the main character, Dong Tai, he ends up going through life as one, and he just feels like life is really unfair. So what actually throws him into this dice kind of concept is um, the really popular guy in school. Apparently he is like a dicer. Basically you get these different quests on your cell phone and once you complete the quests, you get to roll the dice. Some sort of computer program or entity being named X um, provides the quests for these different um, dicers. And the more quests you complete, the more dice you have, the more you can roll and the more you can upgrade and level up in life. So kind of like throwing in the game level up stuff into the real life. So Dong Ta does end up like upgrading his looks, but then he'll start to realize slowly that just because you look different on the outside and you're treated differently doesn't mean you might feel different about yourself. And so the dice game um, is really interesting when you have a bunch of dicers. Dong Ta actually gets really jealous of Taimin, the transfer student, the really popular guy. And he actually wants to lower Taimin's stats because Taimin is dating a girl that Dong Ta likes. It takes about like four to five chapters to really pick up the pace. But once you get into the action and the dice stuff, Dong Ta um, picks up a lot as a character. Things move faster and then there's more conflict and stuff going on. You just gotta get through the first few chapters and just like deal with Dong Ta then. I believe it's still ongoing, but it's really cool. The Korean manhwa is like colored. So if you read it online, um, it's really awesome, vibrant, really smooth, classic Korean look to the manga. The third manga I have today is not really a series, it's like a one-shot um, yaoi story called Unknown Letters. There's only one chapter out for this and I have no idea why, but the one chapter was actually really good and I really enjoyed it. For a lot of one-shots or random single chapters that get uploaded online, they usually left hanging, but I thought that the way Unknown Letters kind of closed off was really nice. And I believe it's like 36 pages. It's basically about a Yakuza and a police detective person who are childhood friends. And right now when they're all grown up and working their separate careers, I guess, they end up meeting up once in a while to hook up just because the police needs details from some of the Yakuza people and just because he has like a connection there they end up kind of like talking a bit. So it's like a really sweet story and if you're looking for just some kind of like a boys love break from what you're usually reading from like shonen or shoujo or whatever, I thought this was a pretty good story even though it was pretty short. So the fourth and last manga I have today is called He Beat Choo Choo and he 
Baby Me Choo Choo is not like the regular shoujo that you usually read. Usually when you read shoujo, the main girl is really unsure of herself or she's just kind of average or she just, she doesn't have it all. In this series, the premise starts out with Suiren as the prettiest, most popular girl in school. In fact, she looks like a doll. She's just gorgeous. And as she's grown up, because people are always staring at her and gravitate towards her, she ends up being like a really emotionless and kind of quiet, reserved character. So she ends up liking a boy in her school who's not very good at talking to girls. And she's obviously not very good at talking to guys. So they have this kind of like awkward back and forth exchange. Suiren is just really two-dimensional at the beginning just because she's just so quiet she barely speaks and you actually really get to know her through how other characters perceive her she has really outgoing best friends who are always kind of like tagging her along and protecting her from like really creepy guys the main guy character is like really quiet he gets picked out a bit because he knows martial arts he just kind of ends up kicking their asses all the time and for some reason these two characters find themselves attracted to each other the pace flows pretty quickly like a shoujo manga, however it's realistic in the fact that they don't suddenly just start spending time together. In the first two to three chapters, they just kind of see each other once in a while at school. I mean, they're very like courteous to each other, very polite to each other, there's nothing like crazy. It's just unrealistic in the sense that they are just so antisocial that they never actually talk to each other. But Hibi Choo Choo has a pretty purposeful and interesting kind of direction, and you get the sense that Suiren is going to kind of slowly break out of her body and the main guy character will break out of his awkwardness so you're kind of like looking forward to them actually interacting like proper human beings. So these are my four manga series for this week's Manga Mondays. This video is a little bit late because I did spend all day reading the manga. All four series are new and I don't own any of them. Um, I ended up really liking them and I really hope you guys enjoy them too. As always, Manga Mondays it will try to return every Monday but if Manga Mondays is not out, I'm potentially working on a different video or a blog post or, you know, life happens sometimes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit like or subscribe or comment if you have read any of these manga or if you've read them and you have some thoughts about them, come over here and rant about them in the comments. And if you guys are looking for more from me, you can just click around and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!